Hello everyone, welcome to Carrots Gaming, I'm your host Carrots, today back at it again with some more Empire. We're playing the amazing mod, Awakening of the Rebellion, with the amazing sim mod, Awakening of the Independencies. Just pause that. <laughs> Almost forgot to pause. I never play it, just let it run on pause unless I'm doing something on purpose. So, in the last episode, we took Zygaria and we took the orbit of Miral, I believe that's called. And also, I was informed... There it is. I was informed we have a planet in the core. God, why? <laughs> this is terrible time. Sell the... Or I guess I can't. Pause. Basically, we're just waiting for this one to get destroyed. I am so tempted to make a full retreat. Is it worth it? I think we should retreat from this world. Is there any specific reason I should all construct tackle bastards? Ooh, I don't want them being able to construct that. Yeah, no. Can I build any more defenses? No. I could go all in on Golan 2s, but... So what fighters do we get with this? Can I... Okay, already. We'll hold on to this one for now, but we might retreat later. Depending. Also, our first battle cruiser is almost off the line. That's gonna be interesting. I've never actually fought with one of those before. Um. Okay, everything's getting done on that. We have two thousand. We need to start investing heavily into. Why can't I build anything on the ground? Oh, because we're already building stuff to max out. Um. Taxation offices, total income of fighters will increase the total by negative. This unit stationed over a fighter delivery plant will increase the total income of fighters by negative 100. But you get a 75% credit bonus. I don't know if that's worth it. At least not here. But what I will start doing, going to space. Where can I build? Can I build these on all worlds? I can. Let's actually start getting. I guess we can only really afford one right now. Oh no, we can afford a couple. Let's start getting a couple of these off the line to start going around and doing some stuff. What are you? Cooperation Empire, he was a general in the Empire alongside his brother. His brother supported him during, during Battle Corridor. Found, then he found out Darth Vader saved his brothers and now torching them to make Yurik Tag loyal. Yurik is the fierce of the most Luke Hulk. Oh, he's the Luke Hulk. He's the Star Destroyer? No, he's the Dauntless. Okay. Don't get those two mixed up. These two are victories. Also, are we gonna just ignore the fact that he's wearing a suit and tie? Yep, not gonna not gonna talk about that. <laughs> um Venator to be our lead. Because of the arcs. Because we don't really have the ability to craft say we do we get a different version of the Marauder? Marauder artillery. Medium, light, long range. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We actually do. Long range TL. This is not a disabler like the other one. The other one has. Huh. This is just all turbo laser. Interesting. Okay, we'll get a couple of those, or one of those. We're now broke, so we're not doing anything past that. So, this should be a bit of an easier planet to destroy. Except for this. I think... Bringing in a couple of these, will, or a squad of that, will actually be very beneficial. So let's let's get our... Because I don't want to leave this completely undefended. Because... Men are more important otherwise. Yeah, I'm not gonna... I gotta ignore that. That doesn't help me in any way. <laughs> we need... Put you here. Let's take our heavy guns. 
transfer some of these guys here. Take, well, we'll take two of those. Focus on this for anti-infantry, hello? Don't care. Okay, we'll take these. I'll leave this. We'll take that. And I'll take this. And I'll leave everything else here because this is a good, decent defending. This can be a movable fortress. This can be mid-range artillery. All right. And I don't think we're going to need more than that because we already outnumber them. The only problem being those droidicas, which I'm hoping the IRD, I, IRD birds is what they're called. I might be 100% wrong on that. Can kind of destroy those for us because I think they're disablers, aren't they? On 22 credits. That is so, how much do you make? Weekly income, 40 credits. That's awful. It's better than nothing, but dear lord, that's awful. I definitely can build... I don't necessarily want to build taxation because I, I want that fighter income. But it's not really helping us a whole lot, so you know what? I want to make it a worth it plan. Eddie, you already have one, don't you? you do not. Do this because that boost. This will boost your income by 75%. That's big. And you know where else we can put a taxation? Here. It's not like we're gonna try and hold this planet or anything. I can build acromander assault ships. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa! Can I? Or is it just on that planet? Oh, I can. Interesting. Guess I needed one of these! <laughs> I like how it's kind of a mix of CIS, Republic, and Imperial ships. Plus some cool new ones. Like this one, I'm really excited to actually see what it looks like, which we're almost ready. I'm not going to get into another space fight until I have that, and then I'm going to hit Telos. And then that way we can control this whole sector here. And we're just going to move you here. Right, and you are off. You're ready to go. Let us hit hard and heavy with you guys. Hit the ground. Let's get this battle started. Alright, let's get this thing started. Pause. We can bring in eight. Start out immediately bringing out the, the heavy weapon team. This and this. Couple of those. Hit the ground, everybody. I know where they are. I always like to pause when I bring troops in because then a lot of them land at the same time. Do you just have most of your wings in the ground or something? Or do you really look that ugly? <laughs> okay, group four. Start scouting. Okay, you have most of your wings in the ground. You actually look kind of dope. You don't look half bad. What are you armed with? Before I send you off, dual anti-cluster rocket. Oh, anti-infantry cluster. I've never seen that before. I'm gonna want to see that. Pike soldiers. That is, oh, that's what those are. That's actually kind of sick looking. I love that. Just keep kind of... Are we already... Did we already lose one? Oh, they're susceptible to small arms fire. Get the hell out of dodge. They're getting eaten by small arms fire. Get to over here. Like, way over here and just stay there. We got a good info on them. Group one. Move out, please. Or start to move out. What do we have here? Abandoned mining facility. Don't mind if we guess. Group three and group two. Move out and secure this position immediately. Move at your own best speeds. Group one, be prepared. Just watching the shadows of these go over, that was actually kind of sick. 
These are not half bad. They were a little weak, but <laughs> they have decent weapon weaponry to make up for it. Get over to here. Actually, I want to get all of you. Don't! Don't do that, please. <laughs> Interesting. Is it that or this that we get? It's definitely the abandoned mining facility. Get to here. Group two, get to here, secure this area. Don't know what that is. It's cool that there's droid work factories here, or at least smaller versions of a droid work. <gasps> R2-D2! That's... What the hell is happening here? <laughs> That's funny, you can see where the model isn't attached. Whoa! What did we just... What just happened? Do you have anti- No, you have stun grenades. Also, what the hell is happening over here? Looks like some Mordor shit. <laughs> okay, we're capping this. Group three, get to over here. Oh, you're right here already. Never mind. Never mind. <gasps> Immediately focus fire on this. Immediately focus all fire onto this. Destroyed. Hey, <laughs> suck it. Hey, group one. I think we already got everything we're gonna get out of this. We technically capped it already, didn't we? One time cash bonus. Oh. Not yet, apparently. Okay, you know what? Group two and group three start moving out. You guys are fairly agile enough that if you get into some serious trouble, you can get out. I want half of you to come up for support. Actually, all of you. We capped it. I just saw our money go up. Let's get up here. Or two. Some pretty impressive firepower you're throwing out that way. Keep going. Now remember, somewhere here, there's Droidica's pause. Droidica. Focus all your firepower onto that Droidica. Destroyed. Perfect. Keep an eye out for more of those roly polies of death. Okay, keep focusing your fire. Get up to here. Group one. Group two. Just get up to here. Group one, get up to here. Group two, pursue. Group three. Careful, get up to here. Get us a vantage point. I assume the vantage point of right here. That's actually good. We can see a lot. Like these guys right here. That was actually really good placement. Okay, group two. Pause and be ready to engage. So we can kind of shoot at them. I don't think they can really shoot at us, can they? They can get a couple hits off, but nothing too severe. Okay, group two. Okay. Yep, yeah, okay. Group one. Oh, interesting. So if I do this, I get their entire thing. Okay, cool. Alright. Group three. I can't actually move up this way. Can these guys? Can you? You can. Get up here. Group three. You have to go this way, so do it. Get up to here. Go all the way around if you have to. Group one, start moving out, because this is going to get really focused really quickly. Focus on this. Ooh, that's not good. Okay, that's flak turret. Don't really care about that. Kind of destroy this. Focus all your firepower onto this. Perfect. Get up here. Start dealing damage. Lag? Hello? Focus on this. Group 3. Please kill this so they can stop raining hellfire down on us. Get up here, please. Quickly. We are victorious, never mind. Okay, awesomeness. That was again a little stressed out with that flag character going up. Because that kind of would ruin my whole plan of just dropping a bombing on him. Plus, I didn't know if these guys would be in range of that or not. 
All right, we did not lose a single thing. Awesomeness. Okay. We got about a thousand bucks from that. That's pretty good. Not enough to really do anything with. 69% done with that. Let's... We can't even really put this into... Facilities of any kind. What are you? No, you're just a local fleet. Okay. It also might behoove us to sell this and move it to here, to an actual frontline world. That's something we have to tr keep doing. It's something I kind of forget that I have to do, is that planets like this in the back line, they don't need this. This is a waste of credits. Because I pay to keep this here, its upkeep is 75 credits, and it's not doing anything. This gives us 50% of its cost. Not as much, but it should give us enough to at least build... CIS Dark Defense Station. Huh. Can you, can you build anything else that's interesting? No. Okay, so that's done now. Can I actually afford to put anything here? I can. What should I put here now? I could go, let's look, let's review everything. This is Golem 1. Roll, hangar defense, blast station was my effect. By our undulating star drives, the blast station has three circular platforms. It tracks the lower armaments to rotate to the side of the station, in which is needed. Constructs a small frame as a standard procedure. Yeah, okay. So this is like for fighters, support. An anti-corvette siege platform. Manufacturers, yes, sir, sir. The manufacturer rotates as time needed. You can, your hangar defense. You're not a great hangar, though. You are far better. This is what we need right here, a Golan 1. Or we could go Golan 2. Let's cut the cost and do a cheaper, because this is the cheapest option. It's 3,000 versus 4,000. Both of these are the same price, <laughs> I guess. I guess just they're the same price because they perform very similar. Are their armaments the same? Four heavy bird rocket. Yeah, they're the, almost the exact same. I think just one has a better hanger than the other one. Right? Then why isn't this one more expensive? Because it's got a better hanger. It must sacrifice something. More it's a mistake. Either way. Eddie. Yep. Okay. Eddie 5. What do you do exactly? Reparation income as I come. Global manufacturers. Okay. Useless to us. I need one of these, because this is good. Do I, do I actually have one of those? I don't, do I? For some reason, I thought I did. But it would be nice to have fighter superiority, because these fighters kind of seem like they suck. <laughs> like, I don't really see anything here that can really take it to an X-Wing and survive, except maybe the skip brain. That's just because it's got a lot of health. It. Um, we can't build that. Um, you're a screener slash hunter. You're just a hunter. You are also a hunter. You are a picket. And what are you? Gunship. Okay. And almost done with this. Okay. Let's have a pause. And let's have a look. And what everybody else is doing. I feel like I'm the only one who actually properly uses this. So Rebellion's doing good in economy. Empire's kind of slacking. So this downdrop doesn't mean like, oh, they're weak now. That just means that they spent their credits on something big. 
Every dip we see is like an expenditure in credits, I think. I might be wrong on that. Empire's got military solid, both the Rebellion and the Black Sun's rising very slightly. Planets, Empire, Black Sun, and Rebels are tied. Okay. And we are probably bottom on the list for economy at the moment. Ow! God damn it. Sorry about that. That'd be me moving my portable desk around and it's stabbing me in the foot. Ooh, this might be something we need to get. Let's pause. Let's have a look at our fleet composition and see what we need. We are good on pickets. We have one of the best pickets in the... F we have multiple pickets, actually. We have an entire picket capital ship. Plus some uh, frigate cap pickets. Hunters seem to be our main problem, but pickets also kind of fill that role. We kind of suck on fighters. We got good capital ship, anti-capital ship weaponry because of the two victory ones and the Venator. Honestly, this is a very well-rounded fleet. I don't really know what we're lacking. We're lacking close-range brawlers. Let us get that down. Are you almost done with this so I can see what you add to our numbers? You are... Oh, we're paused. That's why I was like, why isn't it moving? We're at 90%, let's go on. 81%. I'm speeding this up just a tiny bit. Just so we're not just doing nothing, because I don't think we're going to get attacked. Because these guys are going to be more focused on the more closer threat of Felucia, I believe. What just happened? What am I witnessing? Can I pat? I'm going to skip that. I don't know how to describe it. Why do I care? Oh, because it thinks we're the rebels. Oh my god, that was like a jump scare. I was like, what did I do? What the hell just happened? It thinks we're the rebels because this is... Okay, I get it. <laughs> I understand now. I'm not as scared as I was like two seconds ago. That legitimately scared the crap out of me. <laughs> you are anti-personnel and disabler. You're artillery, aren't you? Yeah, as you go, I've never actually seen this. Direct artillery. What's the difference? This is a gunboat? This is an artillery gunboat? That just sounds awesome. Also, I didn't know we could craft ATTs. That's interesting. I like that. And you guys are light tanks. Common speed for the sense of rule 11. Okay, so we can craft these guys. Not going to, though, because I need to focus credits on getting my planets defended. Against particularly raiding parties. 88. 98, let's start skipping time so this can get off through the thing. Because I really want to know what this adds for us. Okay. No more skipping. Uh, let's start getting one of these offline, too. And construction is complete. Let's have a pause or no. Okay, so can craft these entrenchment scout. Primarily local defense forces. Or well, primarily user local defense patrols is primarily anti durable but slow anti infantry. It's too many has two main abilities. First one's ability to be used to permanently get vision within a certain radius close to the unit, second one lays mines. This is a really good one. And I've used this a lot because it's a tanky infantry unit. It's got 150 health. That's something I don't even think you have. You have 20 health. This is like a borderline vehicle. It is a vehicle. It's a small vehicle. Well, this is considered droid. Now this is good because there is nothing better. And I mean literally nothing better at killing infantry than Droidicus. <laughs> like, I'm about to build one right now just so I can have it. Like, start getting it queued up. And then these guys are just good for cannon folder. These guys are good because they're good at anti-personnel and they can also deal with vehicles because of their wrist rockets. And we're now broke again. <laughs> 92. I'm actually excited. Once this goes offline, I'm going to immediately send this thing 
over to Telos and see what it has. Or Korriban. What does this give us if we go take it? Five and a half, because it's a dark side, and Telos gives us what? Shutter shields are 5% cheap. That's kind of sucky, actually. I don't use shutter shields pretty much. I, I don't... I guess that might be a problem. I don't really build shields a lot. <laughs> can I even build shields? I don't think I can, actually. Yeah, no, 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 I can't. Oh, wait, I'm, I'm a dumb. Yeah, that would require that. I don't think I have a world I might build a shield on just because it needs it. it might actually be Tepsi, because I want to keep this. It's always good to have a foothold in the core. Like, the fact that I even have one planet in the core, and it's a level 3, so that means I can defend it with a rather large fleet should I need to, is a big deal. So start getting that so maybe I can get some proper defenses on the ground, like turbo lasers, stuff like that. I might even get a dual generator, just in case. That's almost done. That's almost done. You're almost done. I think I'm gonna send you... Now here's my thought process. This prevents us from having to deal with rebels right now. Because they're not gonna really want to go for this yet. At least I think, if my thinking is correct. Korriban, on the other hand... I could kind of deal with a relatively weak area here. The reason I know that is because I've played Black Sun enough to know that there isn't a whole lot of forces here. The main brunt of the forces in this region come from the Mandalorian fleet. And the massive rebels comes from here and here. This is good because it's got already a bunch of fighters in it. This has their, like, real beefy beginner capital ship, the MC-80, I think, Liber Liberty class. So I don't really want to mess with these guys yet. I want to take Korriban. But here's the thing, though. If that opens me up... That gives me two fronts. This makes that world an enemy of two people. And that leaves this planet vulnerable. Because for that, if I just attack this... And plus I'd be close enough to... Um, there's decision-making time. Which planet do I attack? Telos or Korban? Telos is better for the short term because I only have one planet to con one front to contend with. This one I'm dealing with two fronts, Forum and Yavin 4, which are always going to be trying to take this from me. Um I think I'm going to go this way. Just to secure this area, and then I'll start going to Korriban first. No, because I have to. I'd have to focus. You know, uh, I think I'm gonna start expanding this way, because to expand this way means I'm gonna be dealing with things I don't want to deal with, which is a relatively powerful rebel fleet that I'm not 100% sure this can take. Like, um, we we outnumber them capital ship wise, but they kind of outnumber us in durability. We don't really have any ships that can take a beating. We have ships that can deal a beating, but this is a relatively glass cannon. The only ship here, the only two ships here that can take a beating are the Invincible, which has really heavy armor, so that's good, and the Strenna here. Those are the only two ships that can just stand in a fight, but they're not our, even our damage dealer, so that doesn't help us. Because this is a picket. Like, it's kind of got crap anti-capital ship, and this is just a brawler. Which is relatively good, but it doesn't have heavy weaponry. And yeah, these two, I guess, are pretty good. But in the end, they only have medium armor, and we lack proper fighters. So I think, which they're going to have, way better fighters than us. So I think Telos is the best option for now. And then maybe expanding this way. Kind of ex expanding this back line here. It's weird how this decision can... <laughs> this is what I love about this mod. Is those little decisions. And I'm committing on Telos. Which I might actually do in this... This video. Interestingly enough. This might be a bit of a longer video than I usually do. Which planet? You? No, you. You have one. 
You do not need one. Sell that. I don't need you. Do you have anything else I should sell? No, not really. This one is... Weekly income, hunt. Yeah, that's, a, that's good. That's good. That's what's keeping us alive right now. <laughs> Also, 99, any day now, hello? Don't pause it. And this is the answer to that problem. Oh my god, I'm stupid. This is, a, this is effectively a Star Destroyer. Oh, interesting. This might be our first engagement with an actual capital ship. I think I'm gonna go both. I'm gonna take Telos, then move this way, and just hope that they have enough to contend with, with the Empire and the Black Sun kind of knocking on their door, that they're not really gonna care about this here. And if I put enough defenses on it, they may just ignore it for the time being. Also, my god, you are weak as all hell on the ground. <laughs> you have two, you only have one real thing of substance. Control from pirates to rebellion. What was that? Something happened. Oh, you finished being constructed, I think. Yeah, okay, cool, cool, cool. When did you finish construction? Not you. You. Oh, I think you just got some basic defenses offline. Also, you need one of you immediately. And let's see how everything looks here. All right, let's get this battle started. It's gonna be really cool to get to see, like I might not, Let's just check this really quick. I might just bring you in some fighter support, and I might just let the the battle cruiser go ham, because I just kind of want to see what it's capable of, and I'm kind of interesting. There's a battle being fought right here, and I can't tell who it is. <laughs> this doesn't affect us that much. But it could literally be each three of the major factions, funny enough. It could literally be the Empire, the Rebels, or the Black Sun that just took control of another planet there. <laughs> I think that's one of the actually few conjunction points, early game at least, where the Empire, the Black Sun, and the Rebellion are so close together that they might be contending for territory against each other. Anyway, let's get this battle started. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to... Let us move out this way. This also gives us a good idea of where their fleet is at the time. That's the thing about a capital ship is I kind of know always where their fleet is. Please, for the love of God, with the, I love that they kept the arcs. That's like my main reason for using acclimators is the arcs. God, I love this ship. I love this ship so much. This is my favorite ship. I just love the Venator so freaking much. I'm so excited for Awakening of the Clone Wars. It's not even funny. Anyway, pause. Move out. And... Bring out this behemoth. Dear lord, are you bigger than Star Destroyer? Okay, first of all, just take a look at the weaponry on this thing. Look how many turbo lasers are. Dual light long range turbo lasers. Granite, those are light. Still, dual medium long range turbo lasers. You're just a beast. You're just a damn beast. My god. Do you have... Yeah, you have skip rays and stuff like that. This is a damn beast. You can brace for impact? Oh, this is the answer to my problems. Just... 
kind of kind of mess some stuff up. Let's us uh, just consolidate all of our fighters really quick. I am in no means scared of this fleet, but still, it is a star destroyer. In a sense, it's a battle cruiser. I'm guessing you don't have. You have eight dual PDs. That's actually more than a star destroyer has. Anyway, you just kind of mess some stuff up here. We'll get some screeners. You're the screener berry, right? Yes, yeah, screener hunter. Get you out here. Let's get a couple of pickets. Just so we can kind of just look at this. What's destroying, hitting us right now? Oh, that's an issue. I mean, I'm not too worried about it, but that is a slight issue. We should be ready to bring in other ships if I need to. I don't think we do. Because this thing's just tanking it like a boss. Actually, kind of good thing we brought in some pickets and some hunters. Start moving up, actually. Okay, right, let's pause. Let's not get too cocky. We've seen what this thing's able to do. Let's bring out the rest. And kind of let's just finish this battle as quickly as we physically can. Also, I just realized we're not even seeing this thing at its full glory. Oh, get out of the way. I want to take a screenshot of this thing. Well, get out of the way this way, please. How well are you dealing? Why aren't you in just full range of this thing? I don't get it. Are you even moving? Just take this screenshot here in case I don't get another chance. Please move out of the way. Please get out of the way. Pretty, pretty, pretty freaking please. Just get out of the way. You have big engines, use them. Acclimators here. We're actually kind of getting our teeth kicked in on the fighter way of things. But I think we're gonna be okay. Especially with this thing here, just kind of tanking shots. And we're about to have a free range of this, which is gonna be cool. Kind of going all ham on a... Oh, you're finally in range, thank goodness. This is such a cool ship. My god. Look at this behemoth. This is definitely a match for a Star Destroyer. I will say that. Maybe not in firepower, but in just pure... I don't know. I don't even know what I'm trying to say here. We need fighters. <gasps> kind of desperately. Let's get our fighters together, consolidate, and attempt to push these guys out and get superiority. And while you guys start trying to finish this fight. Give us full lock of this, and I actually want you to start turning your attention to never mind. It's already gone. <laughs> I was about to say to the act to the acclimator, but I think that's just gone. I think this ship took care of it while I wasn't paying attention. Or obviously not. What's back here? Oh, it's running away. No no no, you don't get to just run away like that. And we actually took fighter superiority at the last minute. That's decent. My dear god. Oh, that's a screenshot and a half. That's the wrong button. Don't mind me accidentally turning airplane mode on. Please turn that back off. <laughs> anyway. This thing's chasing something down. Hey, group one, hunt. Find out our enemy. Oh, never mind, I think we got it. Are we faster than it? No. Granted, you're not exactly slow. I mean, for a capital ship, you are relatively slow. You're actually kind of well suited for this. Um, yeah, just everybody actually just move this way. 
get full throttle. Build this. Can we get, we get to keep that, actually. You're actually... Yeah. Can I start trying to cut that us off if we can. You actually have long-range guns on you? I didn't know that's what you had. Yeah, you got dual heavy long range. I guess you're not too terrible. Invincible is actually a decent capital ship, turns out. <laughs> I believe this is our last ship here. Yep. Didn't even need the torpedoes. And we didn't lose a single ship. Good. Good, 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 good. And I think I'm gonna leave that one here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this kind of content, please like and subscribe. If you want to see more content like mine, go check out my brother and my cousin's channel down in the description below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!